Hello students, nice to meet you back in the online video. So today we are going to start fund flow statement in management accounting. So we are going to discuss about the theoretical aspects of fund flow statement. What is fund flow statement? Let us go to the introduction part. Fund flow statement is a method by which we study the changes in the working capital position between two financial periods that's last year and the current year. The fund flow statement is an attempt to report the flow of funds that's called net working capital during the accounting period. To further analyze in detail students when we talk about fund flow it means it's called working capital. So it doesn't mean only cash. It includes all current assets and the current liabilities. So fund flow statement is a statement. It's a, it's a table that shows how much was the working capital last year and how much is a working capital in the current year. See students, when a proprietor invests capital in the business, the entire capital cannot be committed for fixed assets. I mean, the entire capital cannot be spent for purchase of land and building, plant and mission, equipment, furniture, etc. It all depends upon the type of business that you have and the type of the business that you run. For example, if it's an industrial undertaking, a manufacturing unit, more capital needs to be invested in fixed assets. Because in a manufacturing unit, we require land and building, plant and mission. So, nearly 75% of the capital will be invested in fixed asset. 25% will be invested in current assets. When you come to a commercial establishment, a trading organization which buy and sell goods, they will invest less in fixed asset they will invest more in current assets. So when we talk about fund flow, it's nothing but the flow of working capital. Now what's called working capital? It's a capital required to meet the day-to-day -day expenses of the business. The business may have to meet the demands of the day-to-day -day payments. So it can be cash in hand, cash at bank, purchase of stock and sale of goods on credit that you call debtors. So this fund flow statement is a statement that shows how much was working capital last year and what is the working capital in the current year so that we can able to take a suitable decision. In the sense we have excess working capital, we can plan for short term investments if there is a shortage of working capital, we can plan for overdraft facility from bank. So students, the entire capital cannot be committed for fixed asset. Some percentage of capital should be committed for current assets. I mean some amount of money should be in bank. Some amount of money should be in hand. Some amount of money should be spent for purchase of stock and so on. So, fund flow statement is a statement that shows the change in the working capital position between two financial years. See, student, the term fund means net working capital or net current assets. It is a difference between the current assets and the current liabilities. So CA minus CL will be working capital. So the working capital formula current assets minus current liabilities. The term flow of funds refers to the effect of transaction that results in increase or decrease in the amount of working capital. So whenever any transaction that takes place in the business, it will have an effect on the quantum of working capital. Like we have issue of shares. When we issue the shares, we get 
capital it affects the working capital or when you borrow a loan from a bank it affects the working capital so any transaction in the business that affects the working capital we have a in depth analysis in this particular chapter so flow of funds means where we get the money or where the money goes during the course of business transactions your money means working capital so the formula for working capital is current assets minus current liabilities when a transaction results in increase of fund it's called application of fund what do you mean by application students the common meaning of application means usage that is you are using the fund you are making use of the fund it means when a working capital increases compared to last year we commit that fund we make use of excess working capital so when working capital increases it means there is excess working capital so we make use of that capital so that's called application of fund application of fund means usage of fund so you will use the fund when it increases it is also called as where got and where gone out statement that means where the fund has come where the fund has gone fund here means working capital that's called net current assets inflow of fund or outflow of fund statement so it's a statement that shows from where the fund has come to where the fund has gone so what do you mean by fund flow statement students meaning the fund flow statement is a summary to indicate the changes in occurring in the financial items position between the two balance sheet dates so fund flow statement it's a summary it's a brief statement a table that indicates that shows the changes that happens between two financial years so how much was working capital last year how much is the working capital in the current year so we show this in the form of a statement so it's called fund flow statement so students the most important thing you should keep in mind totally seven points to be remembered i need to discuss to make this chapter more easy the following are the rules relating to changes in working capital increase in current assets will result in increase in working capital so when current asset increases working capital increases there is a direct proportion or direct relationship between ca and working capital in the sense more current assets will result in more working capital less current assets will result in less working capital second point that you need to keep in mind decrease in current assets will result in decrease in working capital a fall in the current assets will result in a fall in the working capital there is a direct relationship between the current assets and the current liability sorry students current assets and the working capital more current assets more working capital less current assets less working capital third point increase in current liabilities will result in decrease in working capital there is a inverse relationship opposite relationship between the current liabilities and the working capital so if current liability increases the working capital falls on the other hand if there is a fall in current liabilities working capital will increase there is a inverse relationship between current liabilities and the working capital 
So what does the fourth point say? Decrease in current liabilities will result in increase in working capital. So students, when working capital, you need to analyze. You need to have a careful thought about CA and CL. So current assets and current liability will have a greater impact on the quantum of working capital. So to conclude, increase in CA will result in increase in working capital. Decrease in CA will result in decrease in working capital. Third, increase in current liability will result in decrease in working capital. Decrease in work li current liability will result in increase in working capital. So CA and working capital direct relationship. CL and working capital has an inverse relationship. Now students, fifth point, very important. There will be a change in working capital if the transactions are involved between current assets and fixed assets, current liabilities and long-term debts, current assets and share capital, fixed assets and current liability, current liability and long-term debts, and current liability and share capital. So, in all these six cases, working capital will have an impact. So, students, keep this in mind. Current and current, there will be no impact on the working capital. So, working capital will change only if the transaction involves between current items and non-current items. Like, students, how a light glows with a negative and positive like that here working capital will change between current and non-current so working capital will not be impacted if the transaction is between current and current non-current and non-current so it's a very simple when we pass a transactions you cannot pass a journal entry with debit debit for an amount of debit, there should be an equal amount of credit. So debit, debit cannot come together. If there is a debit account, definitely there must be an credit account. So here also, working capital will change if the transaction involves between current items and non-current items. Current item, current item, working capital, no change. So, working capital will change between current assets and fixed assets. Current assets and long-term debts. Current assets and share capital. Fixed assets and current liabilities. Current liabilities and long-term debts. Current liabilities and share capital. So, we have a tick mark. It means there will be a change in working capital if the transaction is between current and non-current. You can find in all the six cases, there is no current and current in each of the six cases. One is current, another is non-current. So, you have to strongly keep this in the mind. Working capital will change. Only the transaction is between current and non-current. Sixth point student, there will be no change in working capital if the transactions involved are between current assets and current liabilities, fixed assets and share capital and so on. I give you only two examples. As I said in the previous slide, there will be no change in working capital if the transactions are between current and current. There will be no change in working capital if the transactions are between non-current and non-current. Here, current assets are current items. Current liabilities are also current items. Fixed asset is a non-current 
and therefore share capital is also a non current so current items current items no change non current items non current items no change only if it is opposite current versus non current then working capital will change proposed dividend and provision for tax is treated as current liability what do you mean by proposed dividend dividend declared but not paid what is provision for tax an amount of tax kept aside to meet the future tax liability so when we work out the problem proposed dividend and current and provision for tax will be treated as current liability so with this students the theory aspect of fund flow statement comes to an end next class we will see practical problems thank you